Can I say on this visit, I come with three messages. First, to say thank you to Armenian people for holding the front line of faith and freedom for the rest of the world. Second, I come with anger. I come with deep anger at the refusal of the international community to call Azerbaijan to account for its war crimes, its crimes against humanity, and also Turkey has aided Azerbaijan with Syrian jihadists, and they should be called to account, and certainly Azerbaijan should be required to free the prisoners it still holds. So I come with big anger that more needs to be done. And thirdly, I come with love, because I have such admiration and love for your people, and you a, a wonderful nation, small, but probably the best small nation in the world for culture, for art, for music, for democracy in a part of the world where there is not much democracy. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you very much. But one more question. Of course. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what do you think on perspective uh, of recognition uh, by UK, uh, Armenian, the fact of Armenia, especially after expected Biden's announcement on Armenian genocide? Well, we continue to press the British government uh, on recognition, on full recognition. But my argument now is there are actually three genocides to recognize. Obviously, the genocide we commemorate here today, but the genocide that was carried out against the Armenians of Artsakh, attempted genocide in the war 1990-94, and in the recent attack. And Genocide Watch, independent organization, has recognized what um, Azerbaijan has done and Turkey in this most recent war as genocide. So there are three genocides that need to be recognized. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.